welcome to my channel god bless you hope you're doing great this is blessing laguna tv a channel full of the word of god a channel that empowers you and help you go through this life boldly without fear without shame a channel that has a playlist of bible audio from genesis to revelation don't look for the playlist bible audio on my channel you find it play it when you are traveling or you are chanced at any time so you'll be able to hear the bible from genesis to revelation this channel is a great channel that will help you to not be afraid in life to be bold to trust in god amen hallelujah you welcome to this morning devotion we're going to be looking at the book of Deuteronomy 31 8 today. But if you know you're not yet subscribed to my channel, can you subscribe to my channel? Touch the bell to help you. Because every day there's a video here for daily devotion that has the word of God and prayers. And apart from that, we also have prayers every morning in this channel. This life you need God to live through it. You cannot live through it by your own power and strength. And God's word is what will give you the energy, the power to live on this world, on this world and solve your problem for you. God's word. There's nothing more, nothing else. So please subscribe to my channel, touch the bell, so you can always join us every day. You know when we are, when we are live or premiering a video or we upload a new video. Amen. God bless you. Do not forget to subscribe to help you. God bless you. So today, well, let's look at the book of Deuteronomy 31 8. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee he will be with thee he will not fail thee neither forsake thee fear not neither be dismayed amen this our verse for today's daily devotion it's not so long it's a short one i'll read one more time and the lord he it is that doth go before thee Amen. So the Lord is the one that goes before you. Before you go and get anywhere, He will go before you. Amen. That means when He goes before you, you go and prepare the place for you. Amen. That was His means. If He goes before you, that means He's going to get the place to ensure the place is safe. He said, He will be with thee. He will not only go before you, He will be with you. He will not fail thee. He said, He will not fail you. Amen. This is God's word. Neither forsake thee. Say, will not forsake you. Somebody's mother or father may forsake the person, but God will not forsake you. Are you out there? You are in problem. He will not forsake you. He says, Fear not. Neither be dismayed. Amen. Today, people are afraid of different things. Even this COVID 19 is enough for people to be afraid. People are so scared, so much afraid. God says, I should tell you, say, Fear not. Just take God's word the way it is. Leave your own. Uh, fear your whole issues and when God says fear not take that one take God's word the way it is and you'll live a happy life you not only live a happy life you live a safe life because God's word will work in your life but God's word is active he's active God's word is not dormant he says fear not so drop right now drop all your fear are you there you are afraid of different things of COVID-19 afraid of many many things fear not that what God will say to you today in Deuteronomy 31 8 and it says fear not in a lot of scriptures in the world fear not when it says fear not you know what he has already done for you that's why it says fear not so you don't be wondering with your own senses and your own mind just don't fear just fear not that's what you should do take God's word like a baby say neither be dismayed don't be dismayed don't be dismayed praise God so people are easily so afraid of things but God said fear not if you can only take the word of God the way it is you will live through life successfully if you can only take God's word the way it is you will live through life happily and safely for God God's word is true hallelujah God's word is here and amen he says fear not so are you there my brother my sister you are so scared of what's happening around you today whatever I don't care whatever you think it is nothing is too big nothing is too big and nothing is bigger than the word of God. That's what I was, I was about to say. Sorry. Nothing is bigger, bigger than the word of God. So it says this morning to you, fear not. And I'm going to read it to you this scripture one more time before we pray. And the Lord, he, it is that doth go before thee. Hallelujah. He will be with thee. 
he will not fail thee. Wow. Jesus Christ. God, you are full of love. Thank you for this word. All this for us. It goes before us. It will be with us. It will not fail us. Neither forsake thee. Say, we will not forsake you. Are you there? You think that God has forsaken you. Now, this is a reminder that I say, we will not forsake you. Therefore, it did not forsake you. It did not. And he said, it will not. He keeps his promises. You say, why am I going through all this if he did not forsake me? <laughs> it's for a testimony. That's why we are going through all this. So. For a testimony to come out of it. It's not, to, it's not for you to be drawn in it. It's not for you to die in it. It's for a testimony. He said, I will not forsake you. So no matter what you are going through out there, he has not forsaken you because he's not a liar. It's so in mad I should lie. He said, I will not forsake you. So I'm telling you right now, if you are out there, you're going through a loss, you'll be weeping and crying, you'll be so down. He says, I will not forsake you. I will not. What you are going through for a testimony is for the, because the victory is already yours. He said, I will not forsake you. The victory is already, take it the way you said it. He says, fear not. He said, I will not forsake you. God will not forsake you. So if he will not forsake you, what will not happen? In these things you are going through, that means you're going to have a testimony. That means you're going to testify. That means you're going to be victorious. That means you're going to come out strong from it. You're going to come out happy from it. You're going to come out with testimonies from it. You're going to come out alive from it. Hallelujah. Fear not. Amen. So be, he said, neither be that dismayed. Don't be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. God is with you. My brother and sister are there. God is with you. He is with you. He say, He is with you. Hallelujah. Wherever you go, everywhere, He is with you. So I want to lift up your hands wherever you are right now and thank Him for His word. If you have been afraid, say, God, I'm no more afraid. For you say, You're watching, no, I will fear not. You say, you will not forsake me. I thank you because you will not forsake me. Therefore, in this thing I'm going through, I will testify. I have the victory. Thank you, Father. So we're going to pray a prayer of thanksgiving this morning. Open your mouth and thank him now. Say, God, thank you for your loving Father. Thank you for your word in Tsunami 31.8. Where you said that you will be with me. You will go before me. You will not fail me. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Lord. But say I know you will not fail me. But you do not lie. You say you will, you will not fail me. Thank you, Lord. You say you will not forsake me. Thank you, Lord. You say I should not be dismayed, Lord. I'm no more dismayed, Lord. I'm no more afraid, Lord. I take you by your word. Because you are not a man that you should lie. I know that you will not forsake me. Therefore, all these things I've been going through, I'm going to come out victorious. Because you will not forsake me. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, God, I give you glory. I give you honor. My fear is gone. I'm not afraid anymore. I thank you. You say you will not fail me. Oh Lord, I will, you will not fail me in this. Therefore, I will testify. Thank you for my testimony. Thank you, Lord. I bless your holy name. Thank, as I testify, Lord God, I will ensure the old warrior my testimony. I will not keep quiet. Say glory, Lord. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being my father. I bless you. I worship you. If not for you, where would I have been? But with you, that's why I'm standing today. Because of you, that's why I'm, today I'm standing. I thank you. With you, I'm everything. With you, I can have any victory that I desire. Thank you, Lord. I worship you. Thank you, Lord, for I will not be ashamed. I will not be dismayed. I will not fear. For you say you will go before me and you will be with me. And when you go before me, you don't go in there to go and do other things, but to prepare the way for me before I get there. That means my, my victory is sure. My victory is sure. I bless your name, oh God. You are a good God. So you will be with me and you will, you will not fail me. Ha! That means my victory is sure. I will not be fed by God. God does not fail. It does not fail. That means I'm going to have that baby. If your cases have been and you've been I've married for years, no baby, be no say it's right that I'm going to have, I'm going to have that baby. He said, I will not fail you. He said, I will not fail you. That means if you've been looking for a child for many years, I don't care the amount of years, you're going to have that child. Why? He said, I will not fail you. Hallelujah. You're looking for a job. He said, I will not fail you. Then I'm going to get that job. Thank, thank him now. Bless his name. Worship him. Thank him. 
thank him. You want to get married for many years, you not be married. He said, I will not fail you. That means you're going to be married. Thank him. Bless his name. We thank you, Lord. Take glory and honor. Say, you will not fail us. He said, I will not fail you. Is God's word is here and amen. It's not, it does not tell lies. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. You then you'll be sick for years. It's not going anywhere. He said, I will not fail you. That means you're not going to die. You're going to live. I will not fail. You're going to heal you. Thank him for your healing. Thank him for your healing. Thank you for your healing. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. We thank God for this month's devotion. If you are there and you are born again, what are you waiting for? Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I accept you into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I believe in you. I believe you died for me. You were buried. On the third day, you rose from the dead. Thank you, Lord. What in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. In Jesus' name, amen. If I tell you the spirit was set by you, you are now born again. Go to the Bible teaching church so you will know the Bible. And also subscribe to my channel and touch your bell because every day God's work comes to you to help you to grow, to help you to be strong, to help you not to fear, to help you to go through life. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.